I did. You, she did. I did. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. I said. Okay. Is they really, were they attached to the agenda? Because otherwise they become part of the There's not a lot in I'm just telling you. I will be happy okay. to wait until the end. Just so you can see, Jeff. I've, I've got it here. Oh, I, just okay. Had, okay. I just had an open. Oh, that's fine. Nice. All right, then we will just deal with the mini. No, excuse me. The minutes of the 13th. Do we have a motion to move to accept the minutes from June 13th as written? A second? Okay. Are there any changes required? In that case, all in favor? Yes. Opposed? Abstain? Okay. We do not have any publics. Director's report. Uh, so we have uh, uh, we have a watch the with uh it's and it's um some background design. Was it, did you know that this attendance was comparable Is to the wedding? No, I think that there would be the disruption of not doing it. Okay. 
Thomas come in and it's not clear to I mean, you were paying some for somebody to be here when the it wasn't open, you know, whereas you could have shifted her to more open hours. Yeah. You know, as most other programming, you know, kids can be doing what the is, and then they Yes. Patrick, is that a full-time position, or like, what is what is the position as it currently? Yes. Benefiting. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. So this this is right. And what is the YA position currently? Julie's post. That's okay. also twenty-seven. Is it twenty-seven benefited as well? So it's the same. Look the same. And that's, that's a relatively Yep, yep. Yeah. Is there anyone internally that, is this an opportunity? Anytime someone leaves, for me, I'm like, okay, it's an opportunity to re-envision or to offer someone an opportunity if they want it. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Yeah. 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 Right, because we are not limited by headcount, we're only limited by budget. So you know what the budget is, and if you can repurpose it in a different way and end up with, you know, a just mix. yeah, a better mix of of people that will fit what our current staff is looking in opportunity. Two things. I did have a conversation with Julia and said, did you know that there's a children's library position available? She's like, yes, I did. And she said she really wanted to focus on the young adults and making access to fostering access for kids who might be sort of trying to phase out or whatever to make sure that the transition from children's to YA, which, um, and because I have had the opportunity to see her in action when Lily was on vacation or otherwise out, and certainly since she left, I think she has. From what I have seen, she seamlessly took on the responsibilities. And, you know, does she ask some of the parental units or grand parental units, oh, what song are we supposed to do now? Yes. But she, I, she deserves a pat on the back. Or, we, we no, that's not yeah. her at all. But what one could be like that they yeah. you know, mm -hmm. true. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it or I need to know when it ends or whatever. No, but she's I just think she has she has been great for staff, and I think she has done an excellent job with you know. I mean, even if she's in the workroom and there are two people volunteers sitting there helping her cut out whatever, so she can make whatever when the little kids get there. But um, yeah, she has a great energy, and people are doing. Yes. In case you all don't know, Japanese is Julia's first language. Oh, very cool. And I've heard her chatting 
with several families when she comes in. Today she was standing at the CERC desk and she was helping a gentleman who was looking for genealogy or archival, whatever kind of stuff. And I mean, as far as I can tell, she has the skills to do lots of things. She greets as many of the YA types in the little ones by name. She may or may not remember the grown up's name. Oh, it's Jack's grandmother. Yeah, but I know you're talking about Jack. Um, just, she's fabulous. So that being said, and as for the NC, their response is a huge, a huge way that we're relying on this conversion. So we'll see how this develops. So I don't really know how some people will be applying the decision to see if they don't want to do it. It's great. Will this have an impact on our? Contribution to CWRs, assuming that the cost will be shared.
Last year was 6174. 6174. It's $200. It's worth it. Oh, I'm just saying. Like, I'm no, just I know. I'm just saying, like, to for 200 one extra dollars. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I mean, just because the yeah. number was in front of me. I think this is the person that reached out. Remember that person that reached out and said, Hey, can you make a garden? Oh, okay. This is real. Mm. Hampton Hampshire Conservation District. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they, they're looking to do that, but also looking for a site to do uh, in those workshops, in local libraries, as well as work and another goal is this is the thing that caught my interest in that. Another goal of the program is to establish or expand upon its existing programs and public spaces. That's true. Weekend. Uh, I'm guessing it's the Saturday. I was just looking yes, at that. Saturday. I'm just looking at that week in the calendar. <laughs> it, it is. It is. Yeah. 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 I think that's a great opportunity to yeah. like just get more people at the library. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Well, that's like a good idea. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Potentially, yeah. Let me find out. Or if they did coffee Potential. that day. I don't know that they do or do not need any indoor space for that. Well, I think, but even if you had it out of the back, because I think, you know, if they put a sign out front and directed people to the back, rather than have a bunch of plants out on the front lawn where people would be like, where do I park the district? Yeah, I think the traffic flow would be great. Right. Or, I, and I think that would be awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we'd have to involve the senior center. So the but, if the weather, but if the weather a little bit gets I mean, people who are sort of monitoring would be able to stand under that. Whatever they're so maybe. Yeah, it's the only thing that is not clear is whether it's being ground or the That day. So, uh, but yeah, I don't know if I have one. Well, that sounds really interesting. Yeah. Um, I think that's really more of the rest of the And the 2022 folks. So, so we now have the 2022 folks as well. Did you want to have anything else? That was pretty much it. So we're just going to, like, you know, I know part of it, we're going to have a media subcommittee of that today. But I think it's, uh, you know, we wanted to jump on this while it was hot. Dr. can I ask one quick question just because I don't know about the budget stuff? Um, because this was year end, I actually looked at it. So we're. The services and supplies went over budget, but the salaries so were for, under budget. Yeah, so, so, so this is these are not final numbers because they, they still are, this is the final week to turn in invoices for oh, okay. Y and yeah. uh, twenty three. And so some of these things are still in motion. Uh, and I have requested that the whole line to bring that down. As far as the sound right. mm -hmm. so, well, I mean, my question was not oh that you were negative here and you were positive here, but it was I didn't think you were able to move dollars from one category to the other and uh, just I wanted to know, confirm. Yeah, I don't okay. Think you can, but, okay. Uh, but, yeah, where where this is concerned, the money to come from and ask Sure. Um, well, that's that's nice. Last question. Do you need help with any of these events like you did?
say the movement. And now that I know it occurs, because that's usually when I go to the senior center, I won't suddenly be worried and say, oh my God, what's happening at the library like I did last year? <laughs> oh, fire. Yes, because mm -hmm. all of the things were there. It's like, yeah. <laughs> but Gary Bird wasn't there, so it was probably okay. But I didn't put all those pieces together at the time. Yeah, I think that's really the only one I think Anybody else have any questions for Patrick on this or anything else? Okay. In that case, board reorganization and meeting schedule for the coming year. Let's do the easy one first. Our second Tuesdays good for everyone. Shall we continue to do that? Okay, that's the easy part. So we need a chair, and a vice chair, and a clerk. I'm happy to run into the position of clerk. And I for vice chair. I'm already taking the notes. <laughs> I assume you no one's going to try to sabotage them. <laughs> if anyone else wants it. I don't know. I'm going to fight you for that one. <laughs> no one ever fights for that one. I'm not going to nominate myself. I'd like to nominate him. Oh. Okay, great. <laughs> Anybody else want to be nominated for anything? So, we have a slate of Lathan for chair, Ken for vice chair, and Dante Ben Clark. Do we have a motion? Can I move on my own <laughs> name? <laughs> okay, thank you. I make a motion to move forward to slate. Second. All in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. Um, the subcommittees. Do you want to talk about our meeting or? I'm a little confused. So, are we talking about the subcommittees? Like, who's going to be on the subcommittees, or do we move to a different item? Did I miss something? I'm sorry. I was well, we're on board subcommittees, and we just talked about the director's evaluation because Susan and I have met, and nobody else volunteered to be on it, so we have gone ahead and done a little bit of work. Um, if there is someone who wants to participate in any of the things and we don't have their name there, um, we do not have someone 
to serve as the liaison to the friends because it had been Maureen and if someone else wants to take that on. Um, Allison and Jess are going to work on the community feedback. Yes. Go to their meetings. You go to the meetings to get a short trust And then reciprocally report to us things going on. No one yeah. could, but, but they, that's, they can't control that. Yeah. Yeah. We could. Well, it's an interesting idea. Yeah. It, how often do they meet to me? I will say, uh, having been new and seeing what's like, kind of easy and useful for a new person not to try to throw you under the bus, John. But like if you were the liaison to friends, you would see like a whole nother aspect like to bring to the table. Anyway, just throwing that out there that I learned a lot when I went to other type meetings like that. Like just as a new person, I found it, you know I am not saying you have to, I just was you'd been quiet over there. So, and I know it's a little harsh and you're like, what do I know? How can I volunteer? But it's, you know, it's a pretty straightforward job, you know? It's, it's, a, it's a very Thank you, John. Um, I would also serve on the capital committee. So. Is there anything else to cover under the subcommittees? Well, we have asked if you are going to hold a staff meeting. few minutes of time in order to provide them with, let them know what some of our thoughts were and to ask them for, right. So if you can think about when we might be able to do that. And, well, and another thought is, you know, I realize that everybody isn't always in the building at the same time, but I think it would be reasonable to, you know, if someone were, they, if we could do it even by Zoom, to make it easier to include everyone without asking them to drive here and Well, if if it requires additional time of hours, there are funds that could certainly cover that because I'm not expecting. Right. I have a couple campaign question. Um, just so I don't step on like any of the since I've had a board for a little while. Uh, has anyone 
one of the questions that kind of was always a flow was the trustees' role in raising funds. Has anyone researched that with the Mass Portal Library Commissioners? Or is it okay with this group? Yeah, but it, it was really good. So maybe they are actually doing this because they have some of special trust me banks and I know some reason. person basically said I can't you know, for now. Who was it? No, it was the yeah, I we shall have an extension. And asked for the data for that. And they said I can only advise you. What we have to do because there is a confusing point that some libraries, you know, the trustees can formulate that. Just a little bit confused. I'm really interested in taking this on. I think it's a really important job. And so I just want to do some research if that's okay with this group about, you know, the trustees' role in some great thing. I think finding out more information is always a good idea. No, I appreciate your sensitivity. But then we did have a question about you. But then we did have a question about you. Yeah. Okay, I'll start with you. Yeah. Um, is there anything else we need to discuss? Or sh Oh, look. Sorry. No? I just wanted to let all of you know because I let Lynn oh. know um, and Patrick knows this that I have. Um, there's a called The Right to Read that I recently um, watched and reviewed. It's about the size of reading, which if you're an education at all, it's a very good topic right now. Um, I reached out to Anne Hensley and asked her what have these stand that school districts are converting, it's, it's kind of a long story, but converting when they teach reading back to the science of reading. Um, I really want to show this movie. But didn't want to go against anything that has to do with doing anybody in the school district. Annie McKenzie does have a grant to bring in the science of reading and is really excited about partnering with us. So I also reached out to Marie, who is an educational psychology professor and is actually at Mount Holyoke, a resident I know who's doing work on the science of reading. So I'm hoping to put together in the fall. Some kind of movie showing and um, discussion groups. I mean, tomorrow on Friday, Annie um, has already kind of given her, you know, blessing and will, will kind of um, join with us. The question is whether, you know, how we take it. So, Mara and I can brainstorm a little bit. Um, I do want to say, I got nervous because I'm used to having that little budget. Um, the movie wasn't cheap. To, to have them be here. So, um, and what I bought about some of them, and it's like, we have money. Mm -hmm. We can do things like this. So, and this would be something like, we have all that Smith money. She was a scientist, right? Like, so we talked about bringing science-based curriculum to, you know. So, if anyone's interested, I'm happy to have, you know, people help us be move along. But I just wanted to update you on is the movie called Science of Reading? It's called The Right to Read. The Right to Read. That's what I thought. Then I got confused. Okay, thank you. Yeah. One other thing I sort of mentioned already and then forgot was um, there is a new email address. Well, actually, a resurrected email address on the website so it doesn't go to Yahoo that nobody could remember the password to anyway or to the Gmail account that we have sometimes, or most recently used for the um, Founders Wall. So I set a password for the account. It's in Outlook. Um, I actually tested it, and it did go there. And there are other town things, 
about mostly IT uh, that have shown up in the account and I am happy to share the password with anyone who wants to access it or use it or just have it. If everybody wants it, I will send it to you. If you all think that that is something that is best routinely checked by a single person, then we can do that as well. Yeah, I don't want access to it. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, I mean, I think if, if one person and probably the chair has access to it, that's fine. But if, you know, if I needed to send out an email for this community feedback project, which I swear is going to take off any second now, um, if I wanted to use that email address to send something, to send out a survey, then I would just work with you rather sure. than just, that's fine. you know, monitoring the web, the email address. And we have fine. the other one that we have used in the past that has a lot of stored information on it, okay. which is the Gmail account that we started when we were building the library. So we had people sign up, do you want to be updated on the building project? We use that to send out our surveys, etc. So we do have a separate, um, you know, we've used that for the capital campaign, etc. So but if you were going to do an online survey, that might be preferable because then you can make one in Google. Yeah. yeah. So that's, yeah. So that is also does exist there. We have used it, you know, not for like typical, hey, contact the trustees about this, but more about the, you know, capital campaign, the fundraising, the building Larger events, et cetera. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's what we use to, to invite people to the founders' events. No, that's fine. Yeah. I just, mm -hmm. there is a an official, library trustee at Hadley dot whatever so and that is because after one trustee mentioned that someone had gotten in contact with her I was thinking oh there should be an easy way for folks to be in touch mm -hmm. so uh, Susan was the one who had nudged about that a while ago. So, we are all set. Is there anything else to take care of in open session? Sure. So, if I'm having a meeting with the SMS, meeting subjects, Tuesday, that's the week from today. I have been in touch with the chair of the Friends because they left an envelope in the trustee mailbox, which is a letter of appreciation with regard to their working with Patrick. And I will share that with all of you. Um, and I subsequently wrote back to thank them. And I asked if he had done anything particularly marvelous to prompt this. And it was, no, just more a general appreciation and then it got copied to the whole board. And anyway, I will share it with all of you. But I will let her know. So what's her first name? Susan? Sharon. And we'll start with us. Andres, I will let her know that you will be the liaison. And I will copy you on the email. Morning. Um, 
So it's a, yeah. Yeah, it's a totally low pressure. That's why I suggested it for the new person because it's really no pressure. That case, I would like to make a motion that we go into executive session for the purpose of reviewing the minutes from the board's July 3rd meeting with the intention of not returning to open session afterward. Make a second. Need to vote individually. I say yes. I do. Yes. I say yes. Okay. 